I, I'm gonna throw it out there. I, I reckon I almost enjoy this cake more than a regular chocolate cake. It's a big call. It Matt. is a big it's call. A very and I, big I don't call. know if there's gonna be people going, ah, oh, he's, you know, stop talking up. You're lying. You, yeah. you love your gluten, Maddie. Yes, <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm all about it. But I also love the texture uh, that the almond meal gives. To yeah. These, to these cakes. Look, this is not just to help. You're not doing this just to be healthy or no. to jump on the bandwagon of gluten free is popular. No. It's just, yeah, almond meal gives a great uh, kind of texture it's to the cake. It's got a nice crumbly texture and to it, yeah. And it's just, it just so happens that it's gluten free. That's right. It's inclusive it's for everyone. It's just that added bonus. Yeah. So, first things first, we've got. Uh, <laughs> Recipe says 200 grams of chocolate. I feel like there's a 190 there. grams. Courtney's been chocolate. nibbling away at it, so I'm just gonna work with what I've got You've left. You've got here. to put extra in the bowl. Uh, you can't just put 200 grams in there I'm and just... leave it sit there in front of me. People at home know. There's always a little bit missing. 200 grams of chocolate <laughs> in the recipe. All right, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna chop this up. <laughs> Do you wanna get cracking on the eggs? Literally. Literally. Uh, so we're gonna go five whole eggs into the stand mixer. Get that, start to sort of whip a bit of air into it. And we're going to go in with a cup of caster sugar. Easy. I okay. thought this was a stand mixer because I just stand here and watch you cook. <laughs> no, nah, I already told you. I told you off camera, I'm like, you have to work today. I have to work. All right. Yeah. You're Five lucky eggs. I'm giving you that and not a bowl and a whisk. Five eggs. I, I've got a sore shoulder oh, as well we from the very big catering job. So the stand, stand mixer is helping. All Whole right. eggs in. So chocolate's going to go in here. We've got 200 grams of chocolate. And we're gonna go with 200 grams of butter. So chocolate butter into your double boiler, which is essentially your saucepan, you know, a good inch of water in there, get it boiling, bowl over the top, just a nice gentle way to melt everything. If you've got um, microwave, you could melt the chocolate in a microwave. Oh yeah? Yeah. Here we go. If Goes you want to show it. Courtney if you does it. more baking than me. <laughs> Alright, 200 grams of butter. So where's our little So you just want these mixed. Yeah, so we'll start. Start with him, start with I don't know which part of this. What, what do I press here? <laughs> so you do do more That's baking right, than me. That's right, I got it. <laughs> so we just want to get some air into these. Yeah, so start whipping them Fire up. Fire her up, there we go. Air, and then we'll follow in with the sugar. Too easy. I'll stand by the stand mixer again. <laughs> <laughs> Nailing it. All right, butter in. Too easy. Like this. Five ingredients. I love Chocolate, it. Chocolate, butter, eggs, sugar, almond meal. Most people would have these ingredients in their cupboard. Yep. If it's a rainy Saturday afternoon, you go, I want to make Matt's chocolate cake. I, I highly easy. recommend having these ingredients in the pantry at all times. I'm an absolute shocker for finishing dinner and going, oh. oh. Yeah, I was going to I was going to be good, but now I yeah, want something. Yeah, now I want something sweet. Yeah. So having these on hand, it's always going to make your life easier and you can bust something like this up. Chocolate's always in my always. pantry. It's always. Easy. It's a go-to. Yeah. All right, chocolate butter pretty much coming together. Eggs, Eggs. nice and fluffy. Do you want to start to go with a bit of the Just sugar? Just sprinkle it at a time. Just sprinkle it in bit by bit. Let that work in, dissolve up. All right, so we're just basically gonna run through that process bit by bit, a couple of tablespoons at a time until you've got all the sugar in there. And then, I mean, it's just put it all together. This is too easy. It's a little bit easy. So chocolate and butter has come together beautifully. We've got a really nice silky smooth consistency there. Court has sorted out the whole eggs and the sugar. Nice and Everything's white in there. and fluffy. Yep. So all we want to do, we want to just cool this down. Here. I've just got to <laughs> check that you've if now this cake, it If properly. it doesn't work, if we pull it out of the oven and it flops on itself, you'll know why. 170 you'll know why. grams of chocolate in there now. Oh my God. Just gotta, right. You've got you to gotta keep that. tasting your food, Shh. Matt. <laughs> Chocolate's gonna cool down just a little bit because you don't want to put your eggs into a hot chocolate mixture. So we can put the almond meal in with the chocolate. Hopefully that'll get it to a point where it won't be interesting for Courtney to eat anymore. Uh, and then we'll put <laughs> oh, no, the eggs. Oh no, it's only gonna get better. <laughs> we'll it's just getting then better. Then we'll fold the eggs through <laughs> and then we'll put it in the oven. Right, okay. Here. Oh, here we go. I found, I found the buttons at the oh. back. Should keep you amused. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna fold the almond meal through. So we've got two cups of almond meal, 200 butter, 200 chocolate, two cups of almond meal. Fold that Five through. Five eggs. Get you that could nice remember this. Yeah. No recipe. Easy. Done. So that's, that's a sort of 
texture that you're going to be looking for. It's going to look a little bit grainy. That's what the almond meal does. And then we're just going to fold in the egg mixture bit by bit, work it through. Look at that. So you know your cake is going to be super Dive light in. and fluffy, delicious, yeah. chocolatey, rich. It's got it all going on. All right, we'll start to put that in. So just a bit to start with. Just a with. little bit. Yep, stop. You don't want to work this, work all the air bubbles this out of this. This is probably the that part in the segment where everyone watched the montage of me <laughs> folding it through and you'll add it bit by bit. Is that what's going to happen? Do it really quick and they'll play some Benny Hill right, music. There we go. <laughs> Combined all of our beautiful fluffy egg mixture into the almond meal, chocolate and butter. Now into a prepared tin, we've just lined the base and the sides, always just for an insurance policy, do the whole thing. Makes it a lot easier. Spring form tin, again, so much easier to get it out. It's gonna go in the oven, 160 for about 40 minutes. We're gonna wait 40 minutes. Listen to a word I said yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right. like, when I is said, this cooked? You can have what's left in the I bowl. I can see you so just keeping just like, that bowl. Yeah, yeah. He's keeping the bowl at a distance from me Maddie, now. He's worried about Can you just shut up and give me the uh, cake batter? That's what Courtney was thinking. <laughs> All right. Damn that rubber scraper. There. There we go. In You've the oven, 160, it. 40 minutes. And we should have a beautiful, thick, rich, delicious flourless chocolate cake. Tastes good uncooked. <laughs> We said the cake was going to take 40 minutes at 160. We got it out in 35, so then that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. A little bit of icing sugar. Oh, you got top. it. Yeah. All right. Everyone's oven's a little bit different at home, so yeah. Just... So work on the theory that it's going to take you about 40 minutes and all of about four minutes to put together. Yeah. You can smell it when it's cooked. So this is going to be stalking the I oven. I think seriously fudgy right now because <laughs> it's still warm. You can see the, how biscuity it is. That's what I love about you know, really getting some volume into those eggs. You almost get that sort of crusty, uh, like souffle-like crack around the edge. And you Lots of moisture from the almond meal we as well. The oil Lots out of, of the natural arm. oil in the almonds. Yep. So you get, naturally it's gluten-free, but you also get lots of moisture from it. Which, so heaps of who doesn't love a moist chocolate cake? Look at that. That. That is... That's your piece. spot on. And that's... Right, you cut your... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Cream and ice. Got to have sugar. a little bit of cream over the top. A little bit. Oh, would you look at that? My piece it's, is bigger. It's. I mean, bit that of cream. Thanks. <laughs> so that has got to be one of it. the simplest chocolate cakes to put together. It's too easy. Look, it's like part brownie, part chocolate cake. You know what that is? Good for you. It's a triple tap on the bench. That one. <laughs> Maddie prepped them. Good for the soul. Oh my god. So good. Give that a shot. Five ingredients. Too easy. Four minutes to put together, 40 minutes in the oven. So delicious. Mm.